You know. Yeah. I often thought in my younger days, would I be able to do an intro to things that I've never seen before? Particularly under pressure, particularly when asked. Yeah. Were it for King Kong, were it for Godzilla or Gojira, if you prefer. Yeah. Do you prefer? I I do prefer Gojira, and look at that. Wasn't that cinematic? That's, that's one way to start a part. That's how I felt uh, doing that. <laughs> Seeing that is how I felt being asked to come up with an intro. Uh, welcome back to King Kong. King Kong Roar eighteen. Yeah. King Kong Roar eighteen. Yeah, that's, that, that's yeah. the name of the video. Hmm. Yep. So yeah, we that, that that's a lose your weapons moment right there. Also. Oh. Uh, you're just too damp to use the spears or the uh, rifle. I, I, I mean, I, I'm assuming. You just kind of, you know, lost them when you fell down. They flew, all, you flew off your hand. What did you think of that intro, by the way? Anything to work on? Any tips or... Constructive criticism? Constructive criticism. Hmm. Needed the... I'd just say, like, one meme would have been fine. One meme? Yeah. Oh, meme. Okay, just... Overlay a minion while I'm making my intro, and that'll that'll be the meme. Okay, good, good. You've got it. I'll get everyone in on the ground level. Yeah, Kong's sad. That's how I felt about the intro. Oh yeah, just yeah. like you were behind a wall, yeah. looking in, disappointed. It's. Yeah. <laughs> and now look at this map. See, now we're really are heading back. Mm. We're gonna see a lot of familiar territory in this part. I gotta say, these guys are really fucking good at orienteering. <laughs> yeah. On an uncharted <laughs> island, just bullshitting like, yeah, I recognize this. Yeah, uh, we, we, we know our way back. I mean, Anne's never seen this part, though this is means Jack Driscoll has been just making his way back through also, yeah. Oh yeah, I've been cartographing as we go. Yeah. Here's the uh, rock filled with angry dinosaurs, here's another rock filled with angry dinosaurs, ruins with angry dinosaurs. Yeah. Somewhere there's a mad monkey. I believe this area is. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is the area we came to. Do you remember when we met Hayes? When we, we regrouped with Hayes. Yeah. This is the area uh, we came to with Jack Black before that. Hmm. Yeah. So it, it just cut to Hi, us going through that. So, uh, this isn't a judgmental thing gotcha. like um, like Devil May Cry 4 or it would be. But So are we now just backtracking through a lot of stages that we've already been to, but the opposite way? Yeah. Uh, but there... A bit dis no, it's cool, bit because I, I, I like it, because we are making our way back to the beach. It makes thematic sense. That... And uh, there are... There are new enemies, like another small V-Rex, uh, and uh, the grass has grown. There's much more outgrown grass. Uh, we, we get, it does we, beg we the question of the ecology of this place further, but... Yeah, we, we see yeah. the mark we've made on this area. And even though it is very mark, it is very clearly some place we've been before, uh, it, it feels different. Feels like it was months. Yeah. And yeah, you just gotta take on this V-Rex, this small V-Rex entirely with, uh... For some reason you can't break down these barriers. I Can you, wait, I saw you have like a punch-ish move. Yeah, that that's just a, you know, back off move. It doesn't do any damage, it just uh, gets some of the enemies off your, off your heels. That's a shame. It would have been interesting. I mean, if I was recording this and it did damage, I would definitely attempt to punch out a dinosaur <laughs> or a venetosaur. Yeah. It's just the dumb thing, you know? Yeah. Well, the dumb thing and the dumb thing, but definitely the dumb thing. Yeah. So this fucker's a tricky ass. There we go. Skill shot. I'm calling it right now that that was a skill shot. You just gotta think back to that scene in Future Army. You just gotta shoot at not where they are, but where they're going to be. Yeah. With no crosshair. Yeah. With a spear. Only the guns have the crosshair. It's also, yeah, there's a noise of a dinosaur. Oh, oh, hey, he does, he does appear. 
Never mind. There he is. So it's like it's a wave segment. You gotta hold out until. Uh, mostly you just gotta go get the fire, and you know, sometimes a monster will come along and harass you. It's my fire. Don't fucking nick it, you prick. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of weird. It's I I feel like uh some of the I feel like some of like the monster appearances are semi randomized. I don't know. Like like some things are a bit different sometimes. We brought it up a long time ago. This game had dynamic difficulty sliders, which I'm not sure like you would know more than I than I do, because I didn't beat the game when I played it. But I did read in, like, early previews that you die a lot, a section gets easier for you, you do well, the game uh, ramps up the difficulty in response to that. But I never really got in-depth on how much that affects the game. I'm guessing it doesn't affect, like, ammo crates well, I'm, and I'm not overall set pieces. Too sure. I mean, there are definitely scripted ammo crates. Um, I mean, it, it's hard to tell, having just done one playthrough recently. Yeah. Yeah. And the right. playthrough having been so scattered <laughs> across, like, three years. On separate computers and save files. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't say it much either. So, the over, over like, either it doesn't change much at all, or it's been so schizophrenic and based in where you are in the story that it doesn't matter. Yeah. But I'm not a big fan of dynamic difficulty systems anymore. I uh, like it in stuff like, um, oh God Hand and oh. such, where it's... Yeah. You know, it's present and you know what it does. The, the difficulty, uh, as far as I'm concerned, that you can change in this is, uh, well, for one, there's playing completely HUDless, which is default mode. Mm. So if anything, you could just make the game easier. And that's what that button, like, you know, where, well, that's what that thing does where he calls out how much, many bullets he has exists to do. Yeah. Which, if anyone, if you do ever play this game, I'd recommend playing it like that, because it's really, it's a really cool experience. This game knows think, cinema. I've said that before, but it bears repeating. I think that's one of the things that Last of Us should have did as well, like on the harder difficulties. I don't know, actually. I know you lose uh, listen mode, which is your bullshit stealth, make eat stealth easy button, but it would have been better if it removed the HUD in a game like that as well. Yeah, there, there's a HUD list mode for Dark Souls. That's pretty which, cool, but then again, your character... Which, which which just makes the game... But it's it's unfeasible to play the game like that. Yeah, because of the uh, weapon switching yeah, and yeah, yeah, and items. also stamina, keeping track of that. But it, it does... It, I, I think it's mostly for the benefit of screenshots. Yeah. Also, these dinosaurs are colored differently. They have more health? I don't think so. I don't, oh. They might. Uh, I mean, he did take three of the tribal spears, uh, from my experience, I, they tended to take two, but I might be remembering wrong. Uh, maybe, maybe it's kind of the same deal as the, uh, black millipedes we saw. Also, remember, this is where Black, this is where Jack Black got kidnapped. Two more. I don't remember that happening, I, I think you're making that up. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I think this might be the same deal with the black millipede, where it's, uh, these black dinosaurs and, like, the regular colored dinosaurs will eat each other. Oh, different teams. Yeah. Well, don't, you know, strain yourself, Anne. Yeah. She, she knows we can handle it. Yeah. By this point, probably best to give up the writing gig for just dinosaur slaying. Oh, yeah, she, there she does. She, 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 threw a, she threw a spear in her. Yeah. Threw her hat into the ring. Yeah. I don't know why he's still alive, though. He's tough. Yeah. Not much anymore, but he was tough. Yeah. Respect. Respect for that black dino. You know, the more I just see, the more I wonder just how... If, these tri if the tribe had a glory day before they just let the dinosaur population get out of hand. <laughs> I think it was someone running a Save the Dinosaur campaign that just fucked everything up. Yeah. Well, they did have that dinosaur pit trap earlier. Uh, how do you, was she here when Jack Black was kidnapped? No. It's good she knows that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it was the only way possible. She's smartened up since her early days on this island. Yeah. yeah. She stopped pointing out that we're not alone on this island. Hmm. 
Even though I'm pretty certain we are at this point. Yeah. I mean, well, save I mean, for all the dinosaurs. You're about to be proven horribly wrong. I'll stand by my convictions. <laughs> I'm standing by my convictions. Yeah. Look at them. Look at them burning that grass. It will just grow back. What are they? What are they yeah. hoping to achieve here? We we could have moved through that grass, but now we have to wait a bit. Bastards! Yeah, they're trying to starve and pollute us out. <laughs> also, the, the flaming fire spears kill most things in one hit, but they do shit damage to me. <laughs> Look at that! Look, Mildly that's three. That that's four hits. I'm not even hearing choir music. Four spears sticking out of your spine right now. <laughs> On fire. <laughs> I'm not even hearing the choir music. That's a good way of... I like that. I'm going to use that in general life now and I'm not too badly injured. I'm not hearing the choir music. <laughs> That's a good for saying for I'm not completely fucked yet. <laughs> well, now everything's calm. Where'd the fucking Skull Islanders go? Didn't really chase all that much. Yeah, they, they just generally just. You now, when they see us, they, they, they'll you know throw some flaming spears at us. But in in general, then they're just you know they're not too happy. They're they're, they're, I mean, they're not too. They're okay with us being places that aren't where they live. Yeah, but I'm just starting to think like it's probably been brought before that they're in cahoots with the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs set the trap. They just. Set the grass on fire to no real effect. Obviously. You hear that millipede sound? It's been a while since we've seen a millipede. Yeah, I was just gonna ask if you can roast them to make them an extra tasty snack for extra distraction. <laughs> uh, you hear a millipede sound, but I don't think a millipede appears in this level. Right. Hurry, well, you just burned We're all of them. Yeah. of them. I'm pretty sure this is a no enemy level. Except from the frame rate. Yeah. Yeah. It's having a hard time rendering those no enemies. Yeah. I, th I, th I think it's, like, the spear. Just look at it. Look at those things. Look at that gift fire just yeah. slowing look, everything down. Look at that fire. Look, look at the, you know, little, like, grassy, grassy things on the spear flittering about. It's too many physics at once. Yeah. So this is like the home stretch of the game now, and yep. it's pretty much all easy. Well, all roses. It's all chill. All chill from here on out. I just out. want to leave you with good memories of Skull Island, not the horrible, yeah. you know, fight for your life that it constantly was. Yeah. This is, it's, it's more just taking on... This is the falling action right now. Hmm. A little sedative before everything gets dragged back to civilization. Yeah. And then we have our actual climax. Or two. Yeah. And these caves are still a fucking confusing ass. Oh. Caves were never meant to be we're nice, I suppose. Wall. Yeah, we're making our way back to the wall where Anne was first sacrificed. Ah, oh, happy memories. Yeah. I'm sure they're, I'm sure they're still not there at their stronghold. You know, you ever get that feeling like when you're walking somewhere, the walk back is always faster? Yeah. That was a lot faster. <laughs> <laughs> it really yeah, made time. Yeah, they, they, it looks deserted. They completely abandoned their, you know, big-ass stronghold here. Obviously. Okay. Obviously. Yeah. Let's hurry up and get through here before anyone sees us. It's our only chance to get back to the ship. What's the time scale on this story? I mean, I don't know. I mean, clearly it would have been too hard to just go back down to the, you know, the, 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 the river don't move from where Anglehorn picked up Jimmy. Just wait. I mean, that river's been used already. That would be silly. You can't use it twice. Yeah. Anne, there's something I want to tell you. What is oh. it you want to tell me? Well, you'll probably have to come closer to hear it. <laughs> That's, I think that's what we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> just wow, just cheeky it. bitch. 